Today, I'm making something that's great for parties, for game day, or just for an extremely flavorful, easy to eat dinner. What is that? Spicy, sweet and sour chicken legs. Chicken legs are one of my favorite pieces of chicken to cook because how many foods can you make that come with its own handle to eat? It's perfect. So for this today to start, I need to get the seasoning rub made. Four ingredients. We have a teaspoon of kosher salt, a teaspoon of granulated garlic, a teaspoon of lemon pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. Just gonna put our lid on our little bowl here and shake it up. Nice and incorporated. I don't need to taste this because I've made this before, but if you want to alter any of the flavors, I'd give it a little taste and you can always add a little more salt if you need to. So let's move on to our chicken legs. So I've got, I don't know, 10 or 12 chicken legs here, drumsticks, whatever you want to call them. I've already dried these off a little bit and you want to try and make sure these are as dry as possible. They're not going to be completely dry when we start this process, but by the end of it, we want them really dry so when they go out on the Weber kettle, and that heat hits them, that skin has a better chance to crisp up. So we're gonna transfer these into a bowl so we can get our seasoning on them. I just wanna move all our nice little chicken legs in here. And we're gonna go ahead and start sprinkling our seasoning in. Move them around, get those guys from the bottom up to the top. This seasoning mixture is gonna help do two things. Add some flavor and help sort of dry out the chicken because it's gonna be sitting in the refrigerator for about three hours, uncovered on a tray in open air to help that skin dry out a little bit more. All right, let's move these to our tray. So we're just gonna take these pieces, arrange them on our tray, try and stretch out the skin if you see any that's sort of bunched up. You can put these on a rack on the tray if you have one. I've found it isn't always necessary. Just give everybody a little bit of room here, just like that. And now we're gonna get these in the refrigerator and they're gonna sit just like this, uncovered for three hours. So I'll see you in three hours when it's time to get these out to the Weber kettle. All right, I have my vortex about two thirds full and we're about a half an hour away from getting those chicken legs on. So let's get this lit. My top vent is fully open and my bottom vent is also fully open. It is to the right of the two thirds open mark, so fully open. All right, while the kettle's heating up, I wanna go ahead and get the sweet and sour sauce ready. I'm gonna be using my gas grill side burner for that. Got a steel bowl here with a half a stick of butter in it. It's gonna start melting that down. To this, I'm gonna add a 10 ounce bottle of La Choy sweet and sour sauce. If you want to make your own sweet and sour sauce, you can, but I like this stuff. Just on sort of a low heat here, just to get this butter melting. Bit of a breezy day today. You want to watch your heat here so that the sugars in here do not burn in whatever pan you're using. And you could do this inside if you wanted to, or even over the kettle. Just keep stirring. You can see that sweet and sour sauce thickening up even more with the butter getting into it. This is similar to what you do to make a wing sauce for hot wings. All right, that is good. I'm gonna turn our burner off. We're gonna cover this until we're ready to sauce our chicken legs. All right, kettle's at 371. And from experience, I know as soon as I get that lid off and get those chicken legs on there and all that oxygen goes in and hits the charcoal in the vortex, that temperature is going to go up, which is what we want. So let's get those chicken legs on. Try and keep the legs away from the ambient temperature probe so they're not too close. 
And I want to throw a little piece of cherry here in the center, just to try and get a little bit of smoke with these. I also want to get a meat temperature probe in here to just get a general idea when they're getting close to time for saucing. We can see that our internal meat temperature probe showing 44 degrees. Once we hit about 120, that's when we're gonna sauce these with our sweet and sour sauce. So let's go ahead and get our lid on. So the ultimate final internal temperature is gonna be 165, which is standard for chicken. As I mentioned at 120, we're gonna sauce those and put them back on there to finish up to let that sauce sort of develop on the outside and caramelize a little bit thicken up and I'm not going to be worrying about monitoring the temperature of the kettle I just want it hot generally it's not going to go over 400 450 if it gets that high that's fine with me if you can see right now on here we're in the 380s and that's perfectly fine so I'll bring you back when we're close to 120. all right our chicken legs have hit 120 internal and this is just a guide we're going to be checking these with the instant read when we get closer to done but right now it's time to sauce these Go ahead and remove our internal probe. We're not gonna need that anymore. All I'm gonna do is start taking my chicken drumsticks out of here, putting them in the sauce, giving them a good coating before getting them back on. I'm gonna kind of turn these so that they're not too close to the actual fire. And just see, get it in here, get sauce on them on all sides. and get them back on the grill. All right, let's go ahead and get our lid back on. We're gonna check these in about 10 minutes with the instant read thermometer. All right, it's been about 10 minutes, and as you can see, the kettle temp's rocking in 420s right now, which is good. So let's have a look at these, check their temperature, and we may give them a turn. Those are looking really good and smelling great. Just wanna get a temperature check here. That one's showing up 157, 58, so we've still got just a few degrees to go. I think I am going to give them a quick turn here so everybody gets both sides. And if you want some real grill marks on them, you can take a minute and do it directly over the vortex. Just move your wood out of the way if you're using wood there. I don't really need or want any grill marks or further surface cooking on this. I want that sweet and sour flavor. So I'm going to let these go, I'm going to guess, eight more minutes. And then we'll give them a final check, and I'm pretty sure they'll be done. All right, it's been eight minutes. Let's see how our chicken legs are doing. Oh, those are looking good. Nice coloring on them. Let's get a temperature check here. Let's see, I think we're going to be good. We're, we're above 160. Oh, yeah, we're 169. We are good. All right, I'm going to get these off, get them inside, and then we're going to make a little bit of a spicy brush on sauce for these. So these are spicy sweet and sour chicken legs. Where's the spicy? This is gonna be the spicy. We're gonna make a honey chili garlic sauce that we're gonna brush onto these legs before we take a taste. Very simple, we're gonna add maybe a tablespoon of honey here. If it's a little more, that's fine. And we're gonna add a heaping tablespoon or a little bit more of chili garlic sauce. Maybe a little bit more. Just gonna mix this up. Go slow at first, this honey is thick. You wanna get that chili garlic sauce incorporated. When it sort of thins out, that's usually when it's blended well. Let's just take a little taste. Ooh, yes. <laughs> okay, this is ready. Let's get this on our sweet and sour chicken legs and turn them into spicy sweet and sour chicken legs. All right, I picked out several of the finished chicken legs. Let's get this spicy honey chili garlic sauce brushed on. Also gives it a beautiful glaze on here. This is good to save until the end because you already have a lot of sugar in that sweet and sour sauce out on the grill. You don't really need to add the honey to that and give it any chance of burning. And if you wanted to, you could put this sauce in a bowl and roll these around in it. I'm just brushing the tops here. All right, here are our spicy sweet and sour chicken legs. They look terrific. It's time to taste. All right, here we go. Just a beautiful looking chicken leg. I don't know if you can see that. It just really turned out nice on there. 
And that's just the beauty of the Vortex. It cooks so quickly. Total cook time on that was about 35 minutes. That Vortex is a chicken cooking machine. Let's see how we did on the sauce and the spices. Oh, that is really good. Super juicy, just plenty of juice in there. Tender and moist. Mm, that sweet and sour flavor goes so great with chicken, I think. Every time I use it on chicken, I'm happy. I've never had a bad time where I've used sweet and sour sauce on chicken and especially on the grill. You better have napkins or paper towels near you when you're eating this. It is juicy, juicy, juicy. Mm. It has almost a candied glaze exterior from the sugars that were in there on the kettle. And nice little kick from that honey chili garlic glaze at the end. Oh man, that's good. Do I have any sauce in my beard? I can't tell. Now the skin on this is not crispy, but it is not rubbery. Drying it out a little bit by allowing it to have the seasonings on it in the refrigerator really helps and you get it on the kettle in that hot temperature generated by the Vortex and it just dries even further. You end up without that rubberiness. It's not on there long enough to get a real crispiness, but boy, it doesn't matter. This is awesome. Yes, these are perfect for a party, for game day, but I gotta tell you, you get a few of these in you and it is a full meal and that's just what it's gonna be for me tonight.